Hello everybody, this is TechCut. This video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to show you how to disable Windows Defender on Windows 10. Now there's a, quite a few ways to do this. I'm going to show you a couple of them. I'm going to show you how to do a basic temporary disable in the settings. I'm going to show you how to disable it through the registry editor, through some group permissions, and then lastly through the PowerShell. So this is all the possible ways to do it in one video. Before I start, little disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. I do not recommend you actually do this as virus protection is important. I'm doing this on a virtual machine and as soon as I'm done, I plan on restoring the machine. With that said, let's get into it. So the first way is the simplest way. All you're going to want to do is go into your Windows security settings. And then from here, you're going to want to go to the virus and threat protection. Scroll down to the manage settings. And from here, real-time protection, you're just going to want to turn that off. When this pop-up comes up, say yes, and the real-time protection is off, leaving your computer vulnerable. Then you'll get all kinds of pop-ups and notifications saying that they do not recommend you do this. I would take those into consideration, but that is how you do it. Another way to do this is through the group permissions. So if I just search that up, group uh, if you search edit group policy, it is a in the old school control panel under the administration tasks. So you could go ahead and open this up under here. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. If you go into the administrative templates from there, you go to windows components and make it a little bigger. Scroll all the way down to windows defender, 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 antivirus. From here, you're going to want to go to turn off Windows Defender Antivirus, and here you enable that, and then you apply, hit OK. You're going to want to restart your machine, and that should work. To undo that, it's as simple as just opening it up again. Go to Not Configure, or you can disable this option, but just go back to Not Configured, apply, OK, restart your machine again, and you'll be good to go. Next, we are going to do this through the registry editor. So go into search and just type in reg edit and or regit and it will give you the option for the registry editor. Click that. It's going to ask you if you want to do it. Of course we do. Next, we're going to go into the H key local machine. Open that down. Then you're going to go to software. Scroll on down to policies, Microsoft, and we'll make this a little bit bigger. Then we have a Windows Defender. So we're going to click on that or double click on that. And then this is what we have. So make sure you're in the right directory. And from here, we are going to simply make a new D word 32 bit value. Uh, I'm pretty sure the title is not important. I'm just going to call it disable disable oh, caps lock. That's fun. Caps lock disable. There we go. Disable right click on it, modify, and we are going to change the value data to one, click OK, and then you should be good to go. And that is about it. There is another way to do it in the PowerShell. So if you'd like to do it that way, I'll leave some commands down below. If you use any of the methods that are not the simple switch off and on that toggle, you are going to need to go and manually re-enable Windows Defender when you're done doing whatever you're doing. So, I hope this video has helped you out. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Have a fantastic day, and goodbye.